It's RKO time. I'm D Wicked from Watch WWE, and these are the 10 best RKOs of all time. Number 10, Brock Lesnar. This is the only RKO that isn't either a counter or an RKO into an object. I just think it's clever. Paul Heyman is in the ring talking about how Randy Orton could never hit an RKO on Brock Lesnar, how it wasn't possible to RKO Brock, how Randy wasn't man enough to RKO Brock Lesnar, how Orton couldn't, hey wait a second, he just RKO'd Brock Lesnar. Number 9, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins will be on this list twice because of course he will, you literally all know what I'm referring to, but this one was more recent and pretty cool. Survivor Series 2016 saw Seth Rollins going for a frog splash on Bray Wyatt when BOOM motherfucker it's Randy Orton RKOing you. This was really well done. Wyatt barely getting out of the way in time and Orton sliding in to save Bray. Him and the Wyatt family may be really weird but it's giving us some pretty cool moments. Number 8 John Cena. John, is uh, your face okay? Number 7, Daniel Bryan. Boo Tista and Randy please don't win Orton were trying to murder Daniel Bryan to avoid him winning their WrestleMania 30 match. To do this, Batista decided, hey, I'm going to Batista bomb this little goat midget under the announcer's desk. Randy, you want to like do your thing? And Orton was all like, yeah bro, let's do it. And Randy decided to go for a backwards RKO once Dave let go of the powerbomb making for a pretty interesting concept of an RKO. Number 6, Rey Mysterio. In a match with Finley, Randy this time decided, hey, let's go fuck over the little guy because, hey, nothing you can say, and ran in while Mysterio was on the top rope and caught him in mid-air with the RKO. Admittedly, it didn't look the best, but this is one of the best concept-wise for an RKO. Number 5, The Undertaker. The making of a good RKO, especially the famed RKO out of nowhere, is thinking of moves that realistically can be countered into an RKO, and the choke slam is a pretty solid place to start. It looked cool, made sense, and was a badass counter. Number four, Christian. Oh, hey there, Christian. Hmm, is your body all right? Number three, John Cena. This is seriously the most underrated RKO, and in my opinion, one of the most legitimately out of nowhere RKOs we've ever seen. Everybody hates the five moves of doom, and most people counter it right before the AA, sometimes during the you can't see me thing, but no one ever counters the classic Cena shoulder tackles until Randy Orton did at Hell in a Cell 2014. Doing his usual shoulder tackles, on the second one, Orton hit a perfect RKO, which in my opinion is actually the most surprising RKO on this list and of all time, because while the next two are for sure better spectacle spots, this RKO was way more surprising. Number 2, Evan Bourne. This was my favorite RKO for so long and how couldn't it be? A shooting star press countered into an RKO? That's badass. What I love the most is how Randy was laying flat on his back and managed to get up just in time to hit the spot. It's really impressive and still looks cool to this day. And number 1, Seth freaking Rollins. The RKO on Evan was my favorite for a really long time, until WrestleMania 31, when we saw the best possible concept for an RKO we have ever gotten. Back when Seth had his better finisher, the curb stomp, he was going for it to end the match, and Randy raised himself up, launching Seth into the air, allowing Orton to land an RKO onto the falling Rollins. It was just awesome. Ranks a perfect Ty Dillinger 10 for me. Best RKO of all time. And that's our list. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below, and if you like what you saw, check out our other work over at Spacebound, watch sports and my channel conspiratorial wrestling keep yourself updated by following us on twitter at yt watch wwe and illuma wrestling and of course if you enjoyed like the video don't subscribe instead go down into the description and enter our giveaway and turn on those notifications for more of the best wrestling content thank you all for watching